before we get started. I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Good morning, little human. You had me worried there. You've been sleeping for an awfully long time, and your breaths were so shallow. After such a little amount of poison, how your species goes on with such a weak constitution, I'll never understand. Oh, but you appear to still be in a daze. Really, so frail. Come on now, wake up, dear. You won't be finding your surroundings to be very familiar. It won't help you to orient yourself. You're currently in my house, or uh, a house of mine. It's one I'm renting for the week, actually. No, don't shift around too much. You won't be able to move. Those ropes are enchanted. Enchanted to be strong and, well, and to be soft on the skin. So don't worry about rope burn or, or anything like that. I took precautions, but also don't thrash about. If you scratch the floors too much, I won't get my deposit back. You're looking a little better now, though. Finally recovered. Good. Well, I'm sure that you're bursting full of questions. I know I would be. Well, to state the obvious, I've kidnapped you. I believe that's the correct term in human language. Kidnapped. But if I'm getting it wrong, then the closest approximation I can come up with is that I've stolen you. Like a thief for people. But you're not here to just be a trophy, mind you. I have goals, plans, intentions, you know the like. You might have noticed the magic circle beneath that chair you're tied to. Don't worry, it's not anything scary. You're no sacrifice to some malevolent deity. I have better things in mind, less murdery things. This might require some context. You see, I was, well, am, a wanderer. I left my true home in the elven lands to explore what this world had to offer. A few decades out on the roads and in the wilds, attuning to nature and discovering the beauty of life. But not to sound conceited, it just... Very little of it ever impressed me. I'd heard of other elves going on journeys into human territory and coming back with a, a redefined view of the world, hearing stories of adventures and mystery and all the beautiful landscapes. They inspired me to take up my own pilgrimage. But so far, it's been nothing like the stories. I haven't found any inspiring vistas no daring quest has fallen into my lap. No intrigue. No strangeness. No revelations. Nothing. At least, not until I arrived here and found you. It, it was just a chance encounter. I'm not sure if you even remember it. A few weeks ago, I had wandered into your town and and was asking for directions. I barely even remember what for at this point. I was having a little trouble with the locals. Few wanted to actually speak to me. Some strange lone elf. But then, there you were. To guide me on my path. You told me exactly what I needed. And you were so polite about it. Not unlike many other humans I'd met before, but you were just so captivating. 
Something about you had me entranced. I could barely look away. Your face, your voice, the way you smiled, warm even though I was just a stranger. I checked myself after that for enchantments, for curses, poisons, but I, I couldn't find anything. I was just enamored. You are beautiful and kind and, and, and everything I was missing. I felt like I could finally see the world properly. I had achieved what all those other pilgrims had. I'd found my reason to explore. I, I tried to leave, tried to see the world with, with this new inspiration in my heart. And every second that I was away from you, it, it all seemed even grayer than it had before. So I came back and I watched you for a little bit, a few months, the best months of my life. If I'm being honest, they were some stressful ones though. I mean, I had to stay hidden for all that time and and I worried about you. Even in such a short time, you, you changed. A lot. Aging, slight by your human standards, but in months? It was a worrying amount for such a short span. I know, I know. You live short lives. Really, it's us elves that live long. Unusually so, compared to most things. But even still, it's hard as someone who lives and, and has lived many of your lifetimes to love something so fleeting, someone so changing. So I, I won't. That's why I poisoned you and brought you here. I asked for every favor I could from my homeland. I had scrolls and books sent to me. Secret missives that turned themselves to dust once I'd read them. I, I burned so many bridges that I don't think I could go back there anymore. But I won't need to. Because if this works, which, which it will, then I can stay here with you forever. Immortality. Humans might think of us elves as immortal. It's hard to imagine something lasting longer than your own lifetime. But we are finite, like you, only less. But that can change. You might be a frail human, susceptible to disease, to wounds, and to death. I can at least try to take aging out of the equation, though. So, hold still. This should only take a moment. It, it might hurt. But once I finish casting the spell, you will no longer be shackled by time. And, and then, I can exist with you, without worry, without time slipping away from us. We can be together. So, just let me work my magic and... Oh. Oh, no. No, wait. Th that, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. Human, are, are, are you... Are you all right? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. The book said that... Damn. Damn it. Dear, I, I know it hurts, but, but please hold on. No, I, I can fix this. I, I can. No, I, I've made a terrible mistake. No, th this isn't right. Something is wrong. I, I don't know what, but... Dear, oh, oh God. Stop. No, no, no I, I can do something to fix this. I, I can fix you. I just, I just need a little more time. H hold on. No, no, please. No, don't leave, dear. No, don't die. 
Not now. N not ever. Please, don't go. I can't go back to how things were. L let me try to fix this. Please. Please, just don't go. I don't want to be alone again. <laughs>